Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Victor and in this video I'm gonna create this cardstock image effect. So whenever I hover over this cardstock, you see all these uh, business cards just going up like this. Uh, I'm gonna basically use HTML and CSS and uh, there's gonna be a link in the description uh, where you can take a look at the live demo. There's gonna be another link from where you can grab the source code. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, I'm gonna need like a blank. This is this is an image. This you can crop it. You can have any kind of uh, things here. Maybe have an iPhone with a screen, or you can have um, basically anything. You can build this using any kind of objects. In my case, I have this image. Uh, if you wanna do the same thing, you can actually crop it all the way to the cardstock and or make the background transparent, like a PNG. Uh, I just uh, did it like this. Uh, I choose this color. Pick this color. Um, and then I'm gonna need to have here another image on top that's gonna be the screen that's the preview uh, of the business cards alright so um, having this in place now I'm gonna just grab this uh, image from here I will paste it here and I'm going to adjust it so just press ctrl T whenever you drop it here press ctrl plus T and here you can adjust it like this and then I'm gonna have to adjust the corners so in order to make it um, more flexible just uh, press control control and keep pressing control and use your left mouse uh, left click on your mouse and then just uh, you can adjust the corners like this alright so we adjust all this card to go on top of this okay well well something like this okay and after you're done uh, make sure you uh, kind of like disable this one the the car from the top save this frame and I already have it saved here this is how it looks like in my case uh, all right and then after this you want to disable this uh, layer from here and uh, enable this one from here where you have the card and just click file save as and uh, I'm gonna save it as card.png like this alright I'll click OK and then after that it's supposed to be here okay after that I'm gonna copy these two files and um, I'm going to paste them in my folder where my app is so right now I'm working my cards folder I'll create a new folder here and I will name it IMG and I will paste these files here okay after this is done uh, I'm just gonna open a new tab here just uh, to keep that okay so after this is done uh, I have my VS code open in my cards folder so here I'm gonna create two files the first one is gonna be index.html and I'm gonna have another one which is style.css ooh style.css and then here in my index HTML I'm gonna have an HTML5 uh, template here I'm gonna do business cards like this and below I'm gonna import my CSS file which is style.css and um, here in my body section I'm gonna add a div there's gonna be a one main div class which is going to be content and then here I'm gonna have an image here I'm gonna import the main image from IMG uh, blank.jpg and uh, I'm gonna have an alt tag like just standard and I'll do ca cards and then, then I will close it I will save it for now and um, I mention it in every video I make I have this extension live server so if you don't have it um, just go to extensions type in here live server this is the extension I have you install it activate it and then after you do that you'll be able to open your HTML files HTML CSS JavaScript you know your apps by uh, clicking on right click on your mouse and click open with live server this is gonna uh, open up a new tab in your browser like this 
and uh, basically it's gonna be like a live server you know you'll have everything imported here and whenever you you make changes and you save your changes in your HTML file this uh, this page is gonna reload by itself okay so I'm gonna close everything else I have here now I want to add some styling to just uh, you know uh, make sure everything looks good on the page so in my style.css I'm gonna add some global uh, CSS styling here so I'm gonna have here padding 0 margin 0 and I will add some styling for so styling for the body section Jeez, what's going on with me today trying to, to rush it <laughs> okay so I want to make this um, full screen so I'm gonna have the height 1 VH and display is going to be flex justify content center and align items center I will have a background color so basically the background color is going to be the color around my image so it's going to be b5 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 and if I save it and I'm going back to my uh, tab this is how it looks like you may select this border around it but I, as I said you can you can just crop everything just leave it you know background blank background um, it depends on what which product you're, you're uh, trying to work with and then here I'm gonna add some styling for the content class so I'm gonna have uh, position relative I'm going to have uh, width so this is also important I'm gonna go to my images here and I'll right click on my image properties and I will check the size so I'm going to details and the size is 700 pixels by 564 so this is what I'm gonna use here I will do 7 oops with 700 pixel uh, by and the height is 564 I guess oh my god I, can for, I, I forgot 564 okay okay 564 and that's it for this class I will save it now below here everything looks good and now let's go back to index.html and in this index.html I'm gonna add my screen I'm gonna add this uh, the cards so I'm gonna have to add like five cards here but I'm gonna do it in the following way I'm gonna have img uh, tag source img card.png class here I'm gonna have a card class and then card one and uh, just an alt tag just card you can just skip this part with the alt tag but basically uh, I'm gonna have one two three four five so here I'm gonna have two three four and five so if I save it and go back this is gonna look like this for now all right this is the way it should look uh, through this step so I think it's fine here so uh, now I want to add some styling just to arrange them on the page and I'm gonna go back to my style.css file and uh, I will add some styling to the card to the first card so I'm gonna have content and then card and card 5 and this is a class okay like this and I'm gonna have a transform uh, translate y translate y and I'll put here minus 160 pixel so if I save it and go back and uh, oh 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 oops <laughs> it didn't want to work okay so I have card 5 okay card card 5 I uh, forgot to add the style for card that's why mm, Victor Victor okay so the first thing I want to make these cards to have like a, uh, an absolute position so position absolute and then top zero and left zero so I can comment this out for now just to show you how this is supposed to be looking like so all the images are here because we used almost you know we used the same sizes of this image and they were the position of each card in the PNG 
image location is also the same thing so it's it's matching all um all the 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 the, the, the coordinates Okay, and then here if I do this content card card 5 this is gonna kind of like move the first card the the fifth card or it does not do that um, I guess that's because we should add here okay then we should add a transition transition of 0 0.5 seconds <coughs> and let's try here opacity of one still doesn't want to work <laughs> you know like like always guys whenever you have something really cool to to show off it doesn't work <laughs> and that again is because Victor is trying to rush it but here we need to put hover because that's when we want this to happen and we should remove this space from here in between card and card 5 Okay, so we save it now, and if I hover over it, we can see that the fifth card is lifting up, so uh, it's good. Now we want to do the same thing for all other four cards, so I'm just going to copy this and uh, duplicate it. 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's replace this with 4, oops, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the first one is going to start at 0 pixel and this one is going to start at let's do 40 pixel and then we have here at 80 pixel oops 80 pixels and then this one's going to be like 120 let's see 120 so I will save it go back fresh and whoa that's that's too much probably missed something in here <laughs> uh, okay so this is because it needs to be 40 and I put 400 alright so this works fine now okay alright that's it guys I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please uh, give a thumbs up subscribe for my channel if you have any questions leave in the comments and I will see you in the next video